stripped of the human presence, the city becomes the artifact of a vanished culture. The fossil remains of a distant people. The record of man's achievements, built by his own hands, with tools that he created. His most intricate tool is the city itself. For it is not so much a tool of the hand, as it is a tool of the mind. Man has become more than a random figure on the landscape. With the city tool in mind, he has become the shaper of his own horizons. For thousands of years, men have gazed at the moon, peering into the night to search the heavens for clues that might reveal the mysteries of life on his own planet. The city is his sacred space, the container, the envelope that has protected human life and nurtured man's collective understanding of the value of being human. As in the evolution of biological life, the city organism began with an enclosure, a wall, a circle of fire, essential to protect the vulnerable life within. Timeless eons ago, a fragile membrane encircled a cluster of primordial ingredients. The first living cell from which all life evolved was born. Suddenly, with the living walls of the city cell around him, man's social and intellectual development took off out of all proportion to his past. Ancient city symbols reveal an organism of growing complexity and specialization, an evolving form protected from the chaos of the world outside. Mankind stepped from the realm of mere reflex and uncertain survival and proceeded to plant his cities all over the world. Without the power of human thought and action, the city would not exist. Of all nature's creations, man is the only creature able to leave behind a legacy of what he himself has created. Our history as a species lives in our cities, in the signs and symbols, the structures and ideas that we have built into the cityscape. The city is both a place and a process. It is the physical environment we have constructed, layer upon layer, to shelter our families and our work. It is a process that evolves, generation after generation, which expresses our sense of social order, who we are, where we have come from, where we're going. The city streets are filled with time and stories. Layers of time that begin out of sight. Individual stories that accumulate in silence. More than a place to live, the city has become a way of life. <laughs> 